Hello students, welcome to the concept double tuned amplifier. In the last video I explained about the single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier and uh, in before video I explained small signal tuned amplifier. Those two tuned amplifiers, there exists only one tuned circuit. Here if you see the circuit, it consists of two tuned circuits. The first tuned circuit is L1C1 and the second tuned circuit is L2C2. Another point is, in the last video of single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier, it is the single stage of the multi-stage tuned amplifier. The first stage is connected to the next stage through the capacitor. That is the reason the amplifier is called single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier. But if you see the circuit, yes, the output of the first stage is connected to the next stage through a transformer. So now, this is the transformer. How we got this transformer? Because Yes, there exist two tuned circuits adjacent like this. One tuned circuit is connected as load to the transistor and this is another tuned circuit, yes, which gets the signal because of mutual inductance between these two inductors. Okay, so that is the concept of transformer and we can say this is a transformer coupled tuned amplifier because the, the first stage is connected to the next stage through this transformer arrangement. Okay, then, so the... Uh, when you go for the operation of the circuit, R1, R2, RE, CE, we know these elements are for biasing purpose, okay. And whenever this applied signal frequency is equal to the resonant frequency of this first tuned circuit. What is the resonant frequency of the first tuned circuit? FR1. FR1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi root L1, C1. So whenever this applied signal frequency is equal to the resonant frequency then what about this output the output this output consists of highest amplitude at the resonant frequency okay it rejects all other frequencies or it will attenuate all other frequencies okay so now uh, yes you got that output because of this tune circuit fine the, then then that output voltage gets induced into the next tuned circuit because of this uh, mutual inductance. Okay, that induced voltage gets connected to the next stage. Okay, important point is we got one output voltage. The output voltage is maximum when this applied frequency is equal to the resonant frequency. Fine, but what we are going, what we are doing, we are connecting this output signal to the next stage through this trans circuit means the induced voltage in this tank circuit must be equal to this output voltage. I want to connect this first output voltage to the next stage. Okay. So to connect this total output voltage as it is to the next stage, this tuned circuit must be of its same frequency. Okay. That is FR2 actually it is 1 by 2 pi root L2C2 but these two must be equal. Then only the induced voltage here then only the output voltage here gets exactly induced here okay yes now what is the advantage uh, why we are going for double tuned amplifier you have single tuned capacitive coupled amplifier which is uh, less complex uh, and the point of circuit okay but why we are going for a double tuned amplifier? The main advantage of double tuned amplifier is it gives a broader bandwidth. It gives large bandwidth compared to the tune, compared to the single tuned capacitive amplifier. Okay. Yes, what is the advantage of having a large bandwidth? Because we can we can send some broad range of frequencies by rejecting all other unwanted frequencies. We can send some broad range of frequencies. Compared to the single tuned amplifier. Okay. Yes, sir. See this, sir. The, in, the voltage gets induced in the uh, tank circuit because of mutual inductance. Or we can call it as, uh, or we can say because of the coupling between these two inductors, there exists, uh, yes, induction of voltage in this circuit. Okay. So, what is that coupling? Now, the frequency response may, means the gain versus frequency. The frequency response of this double tuned amplifiers completely depends on this coupling. Okay, I will draw the frequency response based on the coupling. Now, 
This is the response for k is equal to 1 considered as critical coupling. In the analysis part we came to know that critical coupling is the case for k is equal to 1 by q. So if we see the response for critical coupling it has broader bandwidth and also the peak is not sharp it has some flatter uh, peak okay. Yes, this is the case for k greater than 1 or in the analysis we will get k greater than 1 by q case. Here what is q? q is nothing but uh, quality factor remember. Okay, yes uh, this k greater than q case is called over coupled. This over coupled and the response shows the double peak. See this double peaks. Such double peak response is useful when more bandwidth is required. Okay. And coming to this, uh, this case. This case is for k less than 1 or in the analysis it is k less than 1 by q. This case is called under coupling. Yes, what is that undercoupling case? The peak gain is less than the maximum gain and the coupling is poor. So, if these two circuits are tightly coupled, okay, means if coupling is more than one, then you are going to get two peak responses and you are having broader bandwidth. When the coupling is exact, exactly coupled or critically coupled, then what will happen? You will get this uh, tune amplifier response with the single peak with some large bandwidth compared to the single tune amplifier and when the coupling is very poor yes then then uh, the response is very less and it's uh, the response magnitude is very less okay so in that way the double tune amplifier will work and the analysis is somewhat bigger analysis i'll do that video afterwards before that uh, uh, i want to uh, mention the formula for bandwidth of double tune amplifier. The formula for bandwidth is 3.1 into FR by Q. This is the bandwidth formula. Okay. In the case of single tune amplifier, uh, uh, the bandwidth is FR by Q. But the bandwidth here is 3.1 into FR by Q means the bandwidth gets uh, increased by 3.1 times for double tune amplifier. Okay, it's so all about the working and the frequency response of double tune amplifier circuit. Okay.